guys and welcome to this uh, short update video. Um, basically uh, what we're doing at the moment is a lot of Wars of the Roses. Um, we haven't filmed any Wars of the Roses battles just yet, but um, we've been settling on rules and stuff. So we've actually settled on um, Nevermind the Billhooks, uh, which has been out a couple of years now. Um, it's been touted as a little bit of a, a light sort of skirmish game. Um, what really appealed uh, to us when we started playing it was it actually felt like and the results we got were just like Wars of the Roses battles you know you, all of a sudden everything's going fine and it all just suddenly collapses um, it, it's just it's got a strange mechanic to it that just kind of makes it very uh, Wars of the Roses it's this I can't really explain it it's quite strange but if you look at Wars of the Roses some of the battles and you read about them and the way they, they swung and they went left and right and shifted around and suddenly someone's winning and they're losing. This game actually fits into those parameters really well. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we're doing uh, Never Mind the Bill Hooks. So the game basically is based on companies. So this would be a company and this would be a company. These are obviously bills and these are bows. Um, bills and bows can mix together. Uh, they don't mix together, but they join together to form a larger block of two companies, um, the bone at the front, bills at the back, and then when melee is joined, you can sort of swap them around, uh, should should you be able to. Um, but yeah, it, it's it, it, it's a great little game. We've we've made some adap adap adaptions to it, um, so we can fight larger battles. Um, so what we've done is we've added some bits in, taken you know, a few bits out, and altered the, one of the, uh, the command and control mechanisms slightly, um, make it a bit more, um, bit more fitting in fitting with us is a bit more uh, kind of personalities in it um, and it's allowed us to play much bigger games so we'll, we'll regularly have sort of six seven eight players playing um, and we'll have 250 300 point games so uh, without any without any problem and we you know we're looking for we're looking to do even bigger games they're uh, using these rules and the way we've done it is quite simple I'll, I'll explain it in some of the videos but the first couple of videos we're going to do is just going to be showing you how the game works and the little bits we put in and stuff there is a new edition of uh, Bill Hawks coming out this summer, hopefully. Andy Callens are releasing that, so hopefully that will have some more, more bits and pieces into it. But um, we haven't changed too much in the game. It's still fundamentally, uh, never mind Bill Hooks. It's just um, you know we just sort of made a few changes that fit with us. Um, so this is Delapold written you. Um, so this is his, uh, his Bowman, as you can see. Uh, Perry miniatures, really nice miniatures. And again, you know, they're based on the bill hooks 12 to a, a unit for, on two piece so we can remove the casualties. Uh, I like the way, you know, you look at a unit that's been shot at and devastated and there's a few guys left in it and you can just see immediately on the battlefield how the battle's going by how decimated the blocks are. And then there's the bill unit at the back there. Uh, which is, these, these guys are really the mainstay of, of the whole army, I think. The bills. So... Yeah, this is just to let you know that the battles are coming. Uh, we'll be, there's one coming up in a few days' time. We're going to be fighting it on Monday, which is about four days away, I think, or three days away. And then, um, uh, by the time the video comes out, anyway. And then, like I say, I'll make the video. I'll also do something on the on the buildings because a lot of people have asked me how, how I do the buildings and, and sort of why I do the buildings like this. Um, basically, uh, a lot of the terrain we do tends to be over over modelled, if you like, but we just like the look of it all. We just, you know, it's just nice to sort of have terrain like that. Um, and we do a small skirmish game uh, using the basics from Brill Hooks, uh, the weapons and the uh, numbers uh, for casualties, you know, for firing, for hitting, for defending stuff. We made a couple of little alterations. And it's a skirmish game based on um, small groups taking over villages and stuff. Uh, and we've called that uh, Strange Things, Strange Places. And it's a fun game. It's got a lot of fun elements in it. Uh, basically, you know, you, you you can have a cottage that is, uh, a suspected witch lives there or something and people don't like to go near it and stuff and the skirmishes won't go near it. And it's a bit hard to sort of explain it now, but again, we'll, we'll do a couple of those games for you as well. And these guys are ideal now. We've got them based like this because basically in the skirmish game, it's six main units on single bases and they basically go into little villages and stuff and breach heads and try to capture them. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, hopefully you'll find it interesting. Maybe I'll take a few bits away and use yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, 
uh, I hope you enjoy it and if you do then uh, you know subscribe and like and um, look out for the future videos thanks for watching cheers